Kyoto, the capital of Japan, before Nichiren's time. They witness the downfall of the centuries-old Kyoto regime. When the Minamoto defeated the Taira on Danno Ura Bay in 1185. The Minamoto established the de facto government of Japan at Kamakura and built the Tsurugaoka Hachimangu Shrine to enshrine their tutelary god Hachiman. But the shrine itself proved to be the place where the head of the Minamoto family was assassinated. People were able to flee from the battlefields, but they could not escape from famines, pestilences and disasters. There was a fishing village called Kominato in Tojo district of the province of Awa. A boy was born in this village on the 16th of the second month of 1222. He became later Nichiren. Nichiren was Hokekyo no Gyoja, that is, one who acted according to the teaching expounded in the Hokekyo. Hokekyo is a contraction of Myoho Renge Kyo, the title of a sutra expounded by the Buddha, popularly known as the Lotus Sutra. celebration of the birth of Nichiren, white lotuses burst into bloom on the sea. Sea brim swam near the beach. A spring of water gushed out in the front yard of his house. His father was Mukina Shigetada by name. He was once a samurai in the province of Totomi. Nichiren never boasted of his noble birth. He declared himself the son of a fisherman. He enjoyed learning right from childhood. He wished to become a Buddhist priest. His father acceded to his wish and took him to Seichoji Temple on Mount Kiyosumi in 1233. he worked as a servant to Dozen and studied under him. He outshone his fellow students in learning and discipline. A ceremony of initiating him into the priesthood was held on the 8th of the 10th month of 1237. His master Dozen gave him, as a priest, the new name Zeshobo Rencho. He trained himself more and more. He wondered, why is the teaching of the Buddha split into various schools? Why are those schools quarreling with each other? In those days, large temples had soldiers in monkish attire. They were called Sohe. The prestige of the priests was much damaged by them. Rencho thought that something should be done to restore the true teaching of the Buddha. Kokuzo Bosatsu was enshrined in a hall in the precinct of Seichoji Temple. The Bosatsu was believed to give wisdom. Rencho prayed to him, saying, I wish to know the true teaching of the Buddha. Please make me the wisest man in Japan. Kokuzo Bosatsu revealed himself to Rencho in his dream and gave him a gem of wisdom. In those days, Kamakura was the seat of the de facto government called the Bakfu. The 
many Buddhist leaders were staying in the capital to propagate their teachings. Wishing to study more, Ren Chou came to the city in 1238. Tsurugaoka Hachimangu Shrine was at that time a Buddhist temple called Tsurugaoka Hachimanguji. In the precinct of the temple was a Buddhist library. Ren Chou studied the sutras and other Buddhist texts preserved there. He also studied the tenets of the Zen and Nimbutsu schools, which were popular in that city. In 1242, he returned to Seichoji Temple to tell his master and friends of his wish to study more at Hiezan. After a short stay, he left his home monastery for Hiezan. Hiezan is the name of the mountain on which Enyakuji Temple is situated. The temple was founded by Dengyo Daishi in 782. Since then, the temple has been the headquarters of the Tendai school. In the time of Michiren, the temple was practically a Buddhist university. Encho studied the tenets of the Tendai school under Shunpan, who was the most eminent scholar of the school at that time. Encho studied at the Sangon, Hosso, Chegon, and Ritsu schools at Nara, the Shingon school at Koyasan, and the Tendai Jimun school at Mi. He also visited great temples in Kyoto. He realized that the true teaching of the Buddha is expounded in the Hokkyo, Kyo, that is, the Lotus Sutra. returned to Seichoji Temple early in 1253. On the morning of the 28th of the fourth month of the year, he stood on the Asahira Mori Hill of Mount Kiyosumi, facing the rising sun, and chanted Namu Myoho Renge Kyo ten times. To him, this was a ceremony of announcing the beginning of his movement to restore the true teaching of the Buddha. That is to say, to establish the right law. Namo Myoho Renge Kyo means I devote myself to the Myoho Renge Kyo. Myoho Renge Kyo being the title of the sutra, Namo Myoho Renge Kyo is called Daimoku or sacred title. Rensho changed his name to Nichiren on this occasion. Priests and laymen gathered to hear the first preaching of Nichiren, who had just returned from Hiezan. Nichiren entered the hall to preach for the first time. Among the audience were his master, Dozen, and Tojo Kagenobu, the governor of the district. Nichiren went up into the pulpit and chanted the Daimoku, which was strange to the audience. What he preached first was not what the audience had expected. He criticized all the Buddhist schools of the time. He said, only in the Hokke Kyo is expounded the true teaching of the Buddha. Chant the Daimoku, otherwise you will go to hell. Tojo Kabinobu got angry when he heard Nichiren criticizing his faith. He attempted to kill Nichiren but was prevented by Dozen. Nichiren fled from Seishoji Temple with the help of his fellow disciples Gijo and Jōken. He wished to go to Kamakura to persuade the government officials to establish the right law as soon as possible. But thinking of his parents, he visited his home at Kominato, risking possible danger. He told them that anyone who chants the Daimoku will be able to attain Buddhahood. They believed him and became the first lay followers of Nichiren. Nichiren gave them Buddhist names, Myo Nichi for his father and Myo Ren for his mother. <laughs> 